Hundreds of pieces of mail turn up missing. Postal investigators suspect one of their own. And now one Harrison woman is speaking out not only about her financial loss here, but also the emotional items that are now gone. WLW2 News host Jackie Conjato has today's new developments. Federal agents say they started looking into this after 10 customers complained. They say their investigation led them to almost 900 pieces of stolen mail. I always received bills. <laughs> Those always showed up, but the stuff that was, uh, you know, more personal would be so. First, it was a $50 Kroger card that never made it to Diane Schroeder's brother. We contacted Kroger. I found out that it had been used by someone on the Kemper Road um, location. Then a check she was supposed to get and didn't. That was in September. And finally, we sent thank yous out after my father in law's funeral, and none of those, not, I shouldn't say none, but many of those were not received. Schroeder kept calling the Harrison Post Office wanting answers. Finally, they told her what they told us that federal agents have identified a postal worker who they think was stealing first class mail. Investigators found 350 pieces that had been opened and another 525 still sealed. It could have been anything that he thought might have something in it. Investigators say it ranged from gift cards to cash and checks. They even got complaints from Netflix and Gamefly about missing discs. He took a lot from a lot of people, and, and it's just not right. Schroeder has started paying her bills online. She says it proves how one person can throw a shadow over an entire organization. He's cast a lot of suspicion on a lot of other employees that don't deserve it. Investigators say the unopened pieces of stolen mail will be delivered early next week. In Harrison, Jackie Conjato, WLWT News 5. Federal agents say the worker has not been arrested or charged, but he is off the job. If you think you might be a victim, call that number 888 USPS OIG.